All right, uh, another story to kind of make your make your day and uh, and get you excited about. Um, this is the headline. <laughs> I mean, um, this is the headline. It's the headline on the only source of news that matters these days. This is the headline on Twitter, on X, Twitter. Tucker Carlson's new show on Russian TV, Ticks and Controversy. Tucker Carlson, former news anchor, has launched a new show titled Tucker on Russia 24, a state-owned Russian television network. Now, before you get all excited, this story is false. I, I just want you to know, you have to wait a few minutes before you get it, read a headline like that to see how people are going to respond and what's going to happen. It's based on a Newsweek story that was then rewritten uh, to adjust. It, it, it turns out that Tucker did not launch his own show on Russian television um, uh, in, in spite of what everybody is saying. It, it turns out that the Russia, the, the Tucker Carlson show is being carried on Russian state TV and dubbed and subtitled on Russian state TV. Uh, not that he has an original show for Russian state TV. Uh, I mean, uh, the difference is minor, I guess, to some extent. Uh, one, he is doing the show for them. The other is he's letting them use his content. Uh, so I, I, I think they're both basically him sanctioning Russian state TV, but one is much more significant. Uh, I don't know. I mean, people on Twitter are calling Tucker Carlson a mouthpiece for the Russian regime. Um, I mean, that's a shock, right? Uh, but really, to discover that, I don't think you had to uh, wait to hear about Tucker's show on Russian TV. All you had to do is watch Tucker a little bit, and, uh, and, and you would find out that he is a mouthpiece for the Russian and pretty much every nasty regime out there. But, um, but God, everybody bought into this article. I mean, there's so many people commenting on Tucker's new show on Russian TV when it turns out that Russian TV is basically either stealing or has cut a deal to use what Tucker is doing for Twitter on uh, their platforms. So um, it'll be interesting. You remember when I used Tucker on this platform, on our platform, on, on YouTube here, it froze. You remember we got that warning? I got that warning uh, about copyright violations because I was using a Tucker cost. And I guess Russian TV has no worries about that. And since it's not using YouTube, it's not going to be stopped in any kind of, uh, in any kind of way. Uh, anyway, um, uh, Newsweek's original story said Tucker Carlson launches show on Russian TV. Its uh, revised story says, I had it here a second ago, the revised story was a little different. Uh, it, 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 it basically says something about uh, Russian TV is uh, Tucker's content, so uh, not quite the same thing. Um, but everybody basically picked it up. It's everywhere. Um, yeah, Tucker Show is on Russian TV, which is different than Tucker Show. Tucker has a show on Russian TV, for what it's worth. All right, um, I don't have much to say about that other than, you know, you know my views on Tucker Carlson, and it wouldn't surprise me if Tucker moved to Russia and, and uh, started a TV show. Actually, it would. Tucker's a real snob and a real... Um, um, he likes his American lifestyle. You know, we saw how often he goes to the grocery store by his little tour in the Russian grocery store and what he was enamored by. He obviously has people go to the grocery store for him. I, I don't think he wants to give that up. I don't think he wants to lower his standard of living. I, I, I think I think Tucker's, Tucker's like a New England snob or whatever snob. He's just horrible.